Yeah, still can't believe I'm doing these videos, but here we go again with another update on the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. And also, actually, the next trailer for Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, which I know probably nowhere near as many people are asking for, but it's still coming at some point. Uh, because today, uh, a new post from an official Sony account, I'm not sure which one, because... Of course, it was deleted before I actually got to look at it, but somebody was talking about it on Twitter or Reddit or something like that. Um, so one of the official Sony accounts posted something about a new trailer for Venom Let There Be Carnage coming on August 2nd. And then, of course, like I said, w was deleted. That post was deleted. And of course, that's a big sign for all us nerds that if things get deleted, that means it's true. But also sometimes not. We really don't know for sure. But it is a sign that like maybe, maybe not. But then also you have to kind of think like, well, why'd they post it in the first place? I mean, it could have just been some random person working there that just wanted to be like, oh, I hate you guys to take this. I, I don't know. But there, there's some weird stuff going on here. So basically, yeah, there's that post. And again, we don't know for sure if it's legit or not. It was on one of the official Sony accounts. So there's that. Um, but let's talk about this. So a new trailer on August 2nd. Now, this makes sense for a lot of reasons because Venom Let There Be Carnage releases September 24th, 2021. And usually with most movies for their final trailer, they usually release it about a month or two before the movie's actual release date. So I think this would make sense to do the second trailer as the final trailer before the movie. Um, and that's great. I think that's a good idea. I'm really excited for this movie. I'm really excited for this new trailer. And also, August 2nd is actually a Monday. And in the past, Sony has actually had a history of posting the majority of their trailers on Mondays, or at least from what I've noticed. I remember the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer came out on a Monday because I watched it during math class when it came out. Um, but I... I I don't think the first Venom trailer came out on Monday. I feel like it was like a Wednesday or something. But then again, I don't know for sure. Time always gets mixed up here. Um, so I think that makes sense. And I think that may be actually happening. And we may be getting a brand new trailer and possibly the final trailer for Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage on August 2nd. Now, the question is, how does this tie into Spider-Man No Way Home? And when we're getting that trailer? Well, the big rumor right now of when this trailer is coming because there's always a big rumor of like, oh, it's Tom Holland's birthday. No, it's this day. It's that day. It's this next Wednesday. No, no. Uh, so the new one is August 1st, which of course would be the day before August 2nd, if you're, you know, good at counting. Um, and August 1st, why is everybody thinking it's August 1st on a Sunday? Well, because August 1st is National Spider-Man Day. So that, honestly, I think would be like the perfect day to release this trailer because if it really truly is this crazy live-action Spider-Verse movie uniting the Spider-Man and it's literally going to be like the culmination of all the past live-action Spider-Man franchises and basically just a crazy ultimate Spider-Man movie, then that's kind of the perfect day to release a trailer to help celebrate Spider-Man as a character. But with there supposedly being a new Venom trailer the next day, that could, I suppose, tie into it with being it's just going to be double trailers back to back. You get a Spider-Man trailer and then, hey, here's Venom as well. And then that could be that kind of thing. Um, and we do know that they're most likely going to be releasing the Spider-Man trailer at least before Venom comes out so that it can tra play in front of that movie in theaters. Um, but that, that's September, so that's, that's a ways away, though. Um... Now, that's just the rumor, though, that the trailer is coming on August 1st. But now, um, a new update from actually Grace Randolph, who actually doesn't really comment too much on when trailers are coming or not. Usually, Daniel RPK is our main guy, um, and we'll talk about him in a second. Uh, but Grace Randolph recently said that she has a little bit of an update on the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. She got the tea, and basically that we are getting our, first, our next look at Venom Let There Be Carnage before we are getting the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. And that is where things would not line up here. So if her report is true and we are getting that Venom trailer on August 2nd, then that means that Spider-Man trailer is not coming August 1st and will not come until after that. So there's a lot of conflicting reports here and you really have no idea 
who to believe at this point, but I do believe that we are actually getting the Venom trailer first, uh, because, I mean, the Venom trailer comes out, I, I mean, the Venom movie comes out before Spider-Man No Way Home does, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, come on, we're going to get two Venom trails before we even get the first one for Spider-Man, but, yeah, I know it's frustrating, but there's also been some rumors of some possible decisions of a delay at Sony when it comes to this movie as well because of course you know lately things have been getting better with the virus and the whole pandemic thing except then now there's this new uh variant delta virus i don't even know what it's called i should probably watch the news more uh but it's it's actually worse than the original and things may be getting worse and we don't really know how things are going to go in the future and especially looking at how the box office has been the last couple weeks seeing movies even as big as like F9 and even Black Widow dropping 70% in money making in their second weekend those are huge drops right there and Obviously, Sony is pretty concerned by that, especially because this is supposed to be their Avengers Endgame level Spider-Man movie, and they don't want to release it in a movie theater, especially exclusively in movie theaters with no streaming of option available when people are afraid to go out to the theater or it's not safe or you know something along those lines. So th those are some valid reports there, and th this is where Daniel RPK comes into this, because again, he is like our main guy when it comes to trailer updates and trailer information. He was the one that warned us when the Venom Let There Be Carnage original first trailer was coming, when the Shang-Chi trailer came, when the last Black Widow trailer came, and all that good stuff, and... He has been giving some updates on the Spider-Man trailer lately. Obviously, he's been giving uh he's been getting a bunch of questions about it since he's been so reliable with the trailer news that he's going to be the number one source. And he's been saying that he has basically no idea when it's coming out. And he keeps giving a week to week update of like no, it's not coming out this week, it's not coming out that week. And I think the latest one is it's not coming out next week. So that would be uh, the week that we're about to start or actually no, today's Monday. So the week that we're on right now. Yeah, that's what, I, right, right, yeah, never mind, whatever, um, so yeah, not coming this week, not coming anytime soon, basically, and re he really has no idea, because most of the time, he doesn't find out about when trailers are coming until, like, a couple days before, so, he did also make some other posts saying that Sony is considering a delay for this movie, and if you really want that trailer, and if you really want this movie to still come out in December, then basically you need to go get vaccinated and basically convince them and show that everybody is willing to go out to a movie theater in December. So, I mean, those are some valid points right there. But again, th this virus is so unpredictable. I mean, I remember back in March when this thing started in the first place, like we thought we we're just going to be out of school for like, oh, it's just a week. And then it turned into like a whole year and almost two years at this point. So, yeah, it's very unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen, especially with this new variant. So we don't know what what's going to happen. Things may not be safe enough for us to go sit in a packed theater in, de in December. And the big rumor, I think, what, that I read, I don't remember where, where I saw it, but I read it somewhere that they were considering delaying it to mid-2022, which... Honestly, I would not have a problem with because, I mean, obviously I want to see it this fall or in December, you know, when it's supposed to come out, but because also it is set during Christmas, that would make sense. But then also, like, the first two Spider-Man movies uh, for the MCU came out in July, and I always loved looking forward to that July summertime Spider-Man movie, and I was a little disappointed when this one got delayed from its original July release date, and plus, summer movie season is always where the really big, huge movies come out, so I think... I think, honestly, that would be a better release date for it anyway, but also, that means we're gonna have to wait even longer for the movie, and even the trailer, so, yeah, I don't know, guys, just a bit of an update today, we still don't really even know for sure, there's so many questions and so few answers, but it does look like we are getting at least a new trailer, and again, possibly the final trailer for Venom Let There Be Carnage in the coming weeks on August 2nd. And again, there was the original rumor of the Spider-Man trailer coming on August 1st, but that's been kind of debunked at this point. We don't really know for sure. Uh, there may be a delay in our future. 
crossing our fingers that's not the case, but we really don't know. Things in life are so unpredictable, but guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. What do you think about all the updates today? Are you excited for the new trailer for Venom Let There Be Carnage? And when do you think the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer is actually coming? Especially considering that the film could get delayed. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you to date on effing.